Hey, welcome back to Lexi.com. I know you are just biting at those nubs of those, you know, the little fingertips there um, to see what happened with this story. Um, a dream's reality. Well, I couldn't wait any longer. I mean, I, I, I just couldn't even, I, I didn't even take a shower, actually. I just uh, got up and, you know, uh, came straight to work so I can do this. And so let's jump into it. The continuation of A Dream's Reality. Here we are. So, um, last time we, we, we left, we were looking at um, the hot tub situation, and um, um, apparently um, the boyfriend had been shot, along with his gaping hole. Uh, if, you, if you're following, uh, then you know what that means. If, if you don't follow, then you might go ask a friend. Um, and, and, you know, you'll get it. And so uh, she has um, his blood on her face, and so let's let's continue. Let's let's see what's what's going on in the hot tub now. Um, so, um, with panic screams, the woman fumbled as she desperately tried to get out of the water. Quickly, the large evil man ran towards her. Just as she had gotten to her feet, the towering man reached over and wrapped his large large again. Do you remember last time? A lot of large things. Well, there's a lot of largeness in here, so, um, uh, you know, but large is good. Large is good. Nothing wrong with that. So, let's, uh, let's go again. Um, just as she had gotten to her feet, the towering man reached out and wrapped his large black glove, his large black glove, around her matted blonde hair. So, um, I'm wondering, um, if he, like, actually took the glove off of his hand and stretched it out and wrapped it around her hair and made it matted, or if he had it on his hand and her hair was already matted and he pulled it, I don't know. Okay, we'll find out. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so, with terror, the young woman violently screamed as the man roughly stuffed a pair of her dead lover's underwear in her mouth. Now... George, we're not supposed to say stuff like that here on Lexi.com. All right, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I got it. My bad. It's supposed to be under her ear. Uh, under her ear? Uh, I don't know, typos. Silly. Ah, doesn't make any sense. All right, let's move on. The young man had taken off just before getting into the hot tub with her. With an evil look and the man... Uh, see, this makes no sense. I don't know. Here, look. See, here's the script here. Let, let, let's just show... Let's just show them what we're looking at. See, and, and then you guys can actually read it for yourself. See, now... Oh, wait. We have that. Take a picture. And that, and that. And, uh, that. And then... So, um, you know what? I don't know. Maybe this story is getting X-rated. I, I, but I just, I certainly don't want to let them down. All right, let's let's end it. Let's see how it ends. Um, covered with beads of sweat, Sarah violently smoke. Oh, she awoke. It's one of those stories. Okay, another sleeper story. Covered with beads of sweat, Sarah violently awoke from the from the realistic nightmare, realizing <laughs> that it was only a dream. Police officer Sarah Stewart slowly worked her way out of the bed. As she ran her fingers through her wet black hair, we have a lot of that, don't we? Uh, I'm gonna do that sometime. With an itch. Okay. Um, as she ran her fingers through her wet black hair, she clumsily walked over to her dresser. She noticed that the thing white undershirt, oh, the thin white undershirt she wore was almost completely soaked. As she pulled open the top drawer, she looked up at her reflection in the mirror with a part stopping panic. She saw the same tall, evil man standing behind her. After her dream, she must be psychic. With the same noxious laugh. Hope it's not contagious. He bared his dirty yellow teeth as he quietly whispered, It's time to say goodbye, Officer Sarah. Well, that's a 
terrible story. I, I don't like that story. I, I mean, I'm sorry, you know. I'm sure you're a good rider, but George, see you next time. Lexi.com.